right way. Um, I just wanted to come on. Um, sorry about the way I look. I've just had a bath. But I just wanted to come on and show you basically what I'm going to be doing the next however long I'm going to be doing it for. Um, this is my new bedroom. I have a bedroom, yay. And that is Imogen's heartbeat. So, yeah, I really love this bedroom. It's all nice and calm and pink. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come on. Um, there won't be many face-to-face -face ones like this because, as you know, I don't really do face-to-face. -face. But I can't find my um, arm and I just wanted to show you. So I'm just going to show you like this. So a lot of this is already filled in because I'd already started it. So we will be catching on Tuesday when we come and do the video. We will be catching up a lot of them. So I hope it isn't boring, but yeah. So first of all, I will start with showing you what's in my. So I have a thing like this. Sorry, I'll just show you. And it houses all my pens and my little vacuum that needs batteries and all my dice and my little. Um, crocheted elephant that my daughter crocheted for me and I just keep like my booklets and stuff in there so what am I showing you right first of all my trusty LaBelle binder look at me all my ASMR um, again I'd already started this so I'd already um, filled some in but with moving I've emptied it so we will just try and catch it up. I don't have any um, alcohol right now or anything to get it off. So it's driving me mad, but it is what it is. Next is my yearly ones that I'm going to be doing. So I've got this from Charles, Charles Cash Budget. I absolutely love this. Again, I'd already started it and was up to March. So I do owe it from January and February. February was 70. Ouch. And I think January was 50 yeah so we will again we'll start on march but we'll try and catch them up with money that we've got so that's my first annual one right i'm gonna try and take this out while not in the book. so my second one is this that i got off charlotte from studio budget co i've wanted this for a long time um i've already put started it at april because who says the year has to end in december but my aim is to get january february and march done before the end of the year so basically it's just little envelopes like that i probably not even gonna i don't really want to mark this i don't know if you can reuse it once you've marked it um but like yeah they're just envelopes with like little vellum backs um absolutely stunning and she's restocked these so that's my second monthly challenge that i'm doing i'll show you my monthlies and then we'll go on to other things it'll make more sense that way and then my third monthly is my one from Scottish Highlander which is this one so I have actually scratched off March because I didn't know how much there was Jules actually told me later on but I believe the fifth like spoiler alert I believe the 50 pound a month so again I'm going to try and catch up January and February and um, there's no rush as long as I do it by the end of the year but Tuesday we will get on with that one um, and that comes with a envelope as well so that's that one right so that's all my annual ones that I'm doing that in I'm lying but I'll show you my other one when I come to the booklet this I'm still waiting for stuff as well and um, so how we're gonna do this right I'll show you my other stuff there so I've got this one from Dingley Designs you all know she's a very close friend of mine um, this is the £500 book and basically you roll the dice, pick the co the colour will come on the dice and then you scratch what the colour is and yeah it's, you've got red, one minute, red, green, I thought this is backwards, blue, it's backwards for me, I hope my phone isn't upside down, one minute, you watch it will be upside down. No, it isn't, but I've cancelled my video then, so I'm going to have to edit now, which is just great. Um, yellow, pink, and purple. So basically, you just roll your dice, whatever it lands on. I mean, 
found them it literally says roll the colour dice, find the matching colour circles in the booklet, scratch and save the amount. So if you want to roll a further dice to find what one I'm just gonna do it in order because I'm pedantic and I like I'm very anal like that. But yeah, I'm doing that one from Charlotte. And then also from Charlotte, I'm doing this one. I do have the envelope for this one. Uh, this is Cash Trap and basically it's like a board game. You go around and if you land on the pair, for, oh no, they're not all the same. If you land on jail, you go to jail, you roll the dice. If you land on yellow, you pay in what it tells you and so on and so forth. Um, that's a fun one. So, that, and also if you um, land on spin and save, you then get this spin it and save that. So there's multiple ways to play this game, which I like. So that's that one. Right. So that's all that. Right, next is my small challenges, which are all in this one. People ask me all the time where I got this binder from. I'm taking it to the grave, sorry. Um, so we've got the envelope for cash trap. And then I have basically lovely Jasmine made these for me. Would not accept any money, just sent me them. And I was like, oh, but we have my ones from... Um, Oh my word, Queen Bee Makes that she gifted to me. So we're going to start on May and I'm going to do them for £5. And then I have, a minute, which one's this? I know which one it is, I'm going to show you it. Sorry this is a bit like this, but it's a bit different, isn't it? Um, this one is obviously from Cash Book Cute. This was gifted to me um, from the lovely Right. Oh, I always get a name wrong. Right. What is it? It's right plan create maybe. I talk to her all the time on um, Instagram. She's a lovely woman. And yeah, she gifted that to me. So I'm going to do that one. And then I have, you'll notice a theme in this. So a lot of surf. So I have this one from surf, which basically is like cute little fruits. And I have Miss Budget's Cafe again from surf. It's a little booklet. I won't show you everything because we'll be here all night. But it's like a little booklet with cafe things. Duck Duck Goose, I got this off um, Vinted. But this is Kimberly Butter Chips. And this one saves 225. And then I've got Rock Paper Scissors from Studio Budgets Co. I've got Chase the Cash from Lazy Pudding Girl Designs. And then I've got Craft the Code from Abby. And then I've just got an envelope that says Coin Challenge in case I need an envelope for a coin. And then a easy peasy lemon squeezy. I got this gifted as well by the same person. I can't remember it, a full name. It always reminds me of plan budget repeat. It's right, something create, I'm sure of it, but I can't come off it right now. So yeah. So we'll go into this one now. So this is my bigger ones. Um so obviously I've got my yearly one. And then we've got down the rabbit hole. This is from Scottish Highland on a budget. And this is going to be some hefty money so i don't know if you can see it's all fives and tens but if you land on a, a character you've got to save 20 pounds so yep um then i've got an envelope which says surf's booklet which i'll show you in a minute i've got a dingley designs envelope because i'm always doing hair challenges and i didn't have an envelope for color crush is it so i got that one and I've got this one from La Belle, which is just the £20.24 challenge. This one got gifted to me by Budget with Jess R. Yeah, I'm sure she sent this to me. And then I've got this one, which again, I'm going to try and catch up. It's the, it's the Friday one, which I'm about £100 behind. But we're going to try and catch that one up. And then I'm doing the save 500 from Luna Lolly, which I have done a few times. No, I'm lying. I've done it once before. So that's my long term ones, which are all nice and long. Um, I do have something extra special coming from Kimberly Budgets, but it isn't here yet. And I'm being impatient. I want to show you. So if you wasn't on my Instagram, you would have seen this, but I got this gifted to me from Surf at Surf's Budget in Life. Um, this is £20 and I believe it comes with 10 challenges, 
got some of these at Inspo. So this is the 2024 challenge which I have started. Um, basically I had £25 left so I put 20 into this one and then 5 into this one. So it's basically, I'll show you quickly, all different challenges. Um, I think that this one didn't include, I'm sure this is one of the separate ones, but there's basically 10 um, and it comes with this envelope. I won't show you all of them because you need to buy it, but I'll just show you a few that are like my favourites. So, diced latte, adorable, and they all go up in denomina denominations as well, so um, it's absolutely stunning, really good quality, you get the rings and yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you the last, last one, last ones, um, I won't show you them all, because I've got to keep something to the imagination. So that's that, um, and again, £20, she puts it all together for your bar in the rings, you just do that, but she puts them in there obviously, and it's, well say it's easy to put in, I still had to ask her how you do it, and then once I realised, oh it's just clipping, then it's easy, and then I have, I have some stuff coming from Sharp from Studio Budgets Co, and I have some stuff coming from Kimberly Budgets, but I'll show you that hopefully it'll be here by Tuesday because they are both dispatched I'll show you that on Tuesday when I do my actual cash stuff in but this is my birthday binder and I've got this one from Soap as well um, and it's just like a save the star sign kind of challenge and then you just each one's I think they're all the same amount um, like that's Scorpio and they all have like little gorgeous little people and you save the money so i think that's all my challenges that i'm doing that are here um there's going to be two kind of game booklets i know that much because there's soaps and there's also something that i've bought from kimberly which i've just said um look at what my girls bought for me they said they bought me it so they could put so i could just put it in my background um I'm not going to be doing a penny challenge because I'm going to need all my change now for my Christmas fair. But I am just going to put my change in my pot. Anything under 50p I'll put in there. Um, am I missing anything? I feel like I am. One minute. I took these out because I, there's just not as much. Oh, Jules gifted that to me. Isn't it cute? It's got little glasses on. Like, does it sell? Or is that the actual one? Save 290 by saving the amount of each line. Kind of wasted on me this because I get free opticians, but I might put that in a giveaway. How adult is so cute though, isn't it? Yeah, I get I don't need to pay for it. Um I was doing this one, I do not think I can catch this one up. So if anyone would like to try, you're welcome to. Um as much as I love it, the numbers are just too big for me to catch it all up. Like there's like 50 and you know I love Charlotte. Um, but she won't care and there's just no way I can catch that one up because I'm like £700 behind and something's got to give somewhere. I mean half my bind is, is Charlotte so I'm sure she won't mind. So if anyone would like to try that, give me a message and I'll send it to you. Um, Budget with Jess, I believe, gifted this one to me. She'd already started it but I think, was it Budget with Jess? Yeah it was, I'm sure it was. <laughs> you know when you, you're thinking yeah it's definitely Jess um, and she sent this envelope to me the envelope I believe from looking at it it looks like Sarah's so I'm sure it is but the, the tracker is cash book cute but the tracker's paper well you know is it card um, and then I've got this one as well again I started it but again I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it up so but I'm going to keep that one for next year, I think, because I absolutely love it. I need something from my favourite girl ever, Aisha, but I've, I've done everything. I've done everything and I need her to put her new stuff in her shop so I can actually get something new. Um, these, again, are all the ones that I've done. I'm still keeping these because I've still done them. So at the end of the year, we can look back and, you know look at them um, and Jasmine sending me some more challenges me and me and Jazz like 
We're so close. She will not let me pay for anything, which is frustrating because that ain't me. And she, she wanted to Safiana, so I'm just sending my Safiana. I don't use it, so she can have it. And I know she's going to use it. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm really excited to put this. Oh, that's my other purse. I've got purses everywhere, honestly. Um, I do have a lot more stuff that I've, I've still got. Um, I've got a basket full on Etsy. Um, I'm being bad again now. I'm starting to spend a lot on Etsy, but if it brings me happiness, then YOLO and all that. We'll put that in there. That's a long term one. And Ryan said on Monday he's going to give me £20 so I can buy more stuff off surf shop <laughs> because I want her new. Go look at her shop. She's got all the A4 stuff that you clip into your. You basically, she's got loads of stuff on there that you can clip into this and make it a big fat chunky bad boy. So I want loads more. Um, and I've also bought. I'll tell you, I've got the. Is it Twisted Spine, the Christmas Spine? I didn't get the Home Alone one because I've seen that on a lot of people. I got the other one. Um, I asked her to make it free care for me. So I can just, again, I'm going to have to really work hard to catch that one up. Um, so that, but that hasn't been dispatched yet. Um, and then I've, I've got my normal sinking funds one here. I know this video isn't about sinking funds, but I'm trying not to knock you off. Um, I nearly forgot this. So I got this off Charles Cash Budget. So this is the school holiday survival saver. And there's the February half term. Although Easter holidays 250. Where are we going? What are we doing for 250? Is this for just Easter eggs? Because I'm down. Um May half term 150. I guess it's because it's two weeks in it, Easter. Six weeks holidays, 600. This is what I love. I always save 600. I spent it on this house, but October half term 150 and Christmas holiday 200. I love that. How cute. So, yeah, got that one as well. So, go check out our shop because she has put so much effort into our shop. Um, it's so amazing and her stuff is really good quality. Like, go have a look. Um, but I've got my. I've put that. And I'm going to sit one of them in there for that so I can do that and then move it to where it needs to be, um, basically. But I do have a car, so again, I need to, I'll probably wipe that one and start again, if I'm honest, because there's just too much catching up. I've got a house, which I'm probably not going to use anymore because I have ordered some envelopes of flora for the stuff that I want for the house. Car insurance, six weeks. We'll get that eventually. Emergency fund. Sal and Ryan. Buffer. Technology. Clubs. A lot of these are just, I don't really use to be honest. Annual. That's for like Valentine's Day and stuff like that. Uniform. That's a big priority that I need to get back. Haven again. I need to get that sorted. And then I got this Christmas one, and I think Budget Was Just Side gifted me that as well. And she sent me a huge, like, parcel worth of different challenges, bless her. And that had a thousand pound Christmas tracker in. So we don't really need another thousand pound, but we're still going to do it because it's savings at the end of the day. And she gave me this one, which I definitely need. She's the Etsy Spends for 75. So as soon as I start, I'm. Tuesday and I've bought what I want. I will not then buy off Etsy till this one is complete. So yeah, a lot of these I don't think I need really. Like all I really need is car, car insurance, holiday, summer holidays, school uniform, Christmas, birthdays. Like stuff like date nights clothing you know all like that do we really need any more clothing no we don't date night just cash flow a lot of it i feel like we don't need but it's fun isn't it so we will like let me know what you think i'm undecided because these are all different denominations i have actually got a separate envelope for that one 
but like I've wrote on the top like that one says pink guy you're actually resting on it would you take the 45 because this is for 45 straight away or would you wait for a few to be done because these first I'd say the first five or six are all on, uh, under £100 so what I was thinking of is doing them five and then when them five are done taking the money out putting it in because the first one's like 45 quid that's not really going to get me far in a sinking fund but I haven't decided um, what I'm going to do with that but yeah thanks for joining me hope everyone's doing well congratulations to um charlotte from studio budget co she hit a thousand subscribers um i think yeah i'm sure she did she did yeah because i congratulated her about it i remember but yeah we're gonna just do our best to catch up what we can um i'm lying i'm not gonna finish for etsy because the free charlotte's are bringing out a box together so i want that box um but i feel like i'm happy now with everything i feel like i've got a lot to be going with um what I'm, like i'm just gonna go through my challenges and just just do go through and make sure everything gets a bit of love and i'm not gonna be like that needs finishing really quick i do have a full box of challenges in my wardrobe as well but i don't know is it just me now as much as i love a lot of the creators and i do 99 percent of them i love them all Sometimes, if I've had it that long, I just don't want to do it. I don't know why. Like rock, paper, scissors, I've had that about a year. And it looks great fun. But something just stops me starting it. I don't know what. But now, like, I don't know. Like, I'm so excited. Like, you wait till you see what I've got coming from um, Kimberly Budget. That's going to be so much fun with this bag, uh, with this book up from Sir. We're gonna do that in one day together. And like I bought the duck duck goose off Vinted. But how cute look. I thought it was a dinosaur, I'm not gonna lie. Where are you? <laughs> and then I realised it was a goose. I was like duck, duck. I get it, duck duck goose. But I, when it when I opened it I was like, is that a dinosaur? I'm like I, I can see the goose. I can see that it's a goose. But if you didn't know it was a goose, that very well could be a dinosaur. But yeah, there's little ducks and basically you just give it a good shake and, it throw, and then that'd be the higher one because that's just my love. But yeah, um, I know that I said I was going to probably do a lot of it at the end of the month, but if I finish one in my actual binder and it's a decent amount of money, I'll probably just... Um, do it in my next video um but yeah i'm going because i've whittled on i just wanted to show everyone what i was doing before tuesday when i started um like this one 500 by the time i've done this this will take a little bit um i'll probably do maybe like three or four every time maybe more if they're really small because i imagine each one two four six eight sixteen times one two three four five six two four six eight sixteen times six is ninety six to scratch i think don't quote me i might have done that wrong if i if i'm only doing one a week that'll take me forever so i'll probably do like maybe to get it done in by august for example five months that's 20 a month so four or five a week will be absolutely fine and then that nice amount of money can go to wherever it needs to be for summer christmas no longer have my house to save for it feels weird because for a long time i've been putting a hundred pound away from my house every week and apart from my car i've not really got big big things to save for anymore um obviously i want things for the house I want a new kitchen, I want tiles in my bathroom, I want a shower. Um, there's a lot that I want to do, don't get me wrong. But it isn't like a, oh my god, I need five grand by this time. And let me tell you, when I emptied all my money, I had nearly six grand. And I had just under six grand. And I banked that. 
and then I've spent the next two weeks money as well on this house I would say on moving and carpets and blinds and just the necessities bear in mind apart from I did get a new fridge but YOLO just the necessities that we needed for this house the removal men the carpets the things you don't think about like getting the gas fit um gas cooker fitted because even though it's a council house you, they don't do that like you have to get someone to come in and fit your gas cooker they do the gas safety check and stuff but they don't physically fit your cooker stuff like that that you forget about i probably say i spent seven thousand pound in the space of two weeks i ain't joking either I do not know how someone who has no time to prepare and back in the day when I got my old house, not this one, this one's fucking giant, let me tell you, it's really big. When I got my old house, so my my, my house, it's still called my house, when I got my house, my free bed, the one I've just moved out of, you got grants, uh, I don't know how much it was, I can't remember, but they'd, they helped, now they don't. Someone's having fun outside. Um, the wind is open. But if you don't have means to save and you're just say like you're a single mother, two kids, reliant on benefits, which a lot of people are, let's be honest, what is that yellow thing there? Oh, it's that. I thought some I thought have I missed some like ugly rail in my house that I don't even know about. Um, you're a single mother no partner you know, you've got a baby you've split up with your partner so you've got to rely on universal credit and you're moving into a home i do not see how someone in that circumstance could ever ever afford and i was really lucky most council houses are a state the walls are like like as you can see every room in my house is like this yeah it's bare this is blank but it's not horrible like it might not be to everyone's taste. I personally don't mind it. It's like a, it's not a white, but it's not magnolia. It's like a cream. Um, but every single room is like this, and all brand new, freshly plastered. I've been incredibly lucky, and I know that. I feel lucky anyway to have a council house. I've always felt that way, because not everyone's that lucky. And for a four bed in Hull, even though like we are the cheapest in the UK, I believe we used to be. I don't know if we still are. Even in Hull, it's a lot of money um, if you have to go private and you never have that safety net. And because I'm a carer, I can't get a mortgage, you know, because I can't. I think there is rules where you can actually get a mortgage if you're a carer, but you cannot save a deposit because the minute you save over £16,000, any money you're entitled to stops. So you can never save a deposit even if they were to give you a mortgage. And let's face it who would give a person without a proper income a mortgage and not no one they, they say that they're not meant to not give to people like they're not meant what's the word not criticize there's a word isn't they oh it's on the tip of my tongue you know what i mean they're not meant to but they do um but yeah i'm not in that that situation like i have the life that I have and obviously I feel lucky to have this house and I really like living here it's nice and quiet the neighbours are lovely they're an older couple no kids like we're hidden we're like I just feel really lucky and there's no dog barking and yeah there's been a lot of stress don't get me wrong a lot but we're, we're nearly at the end of it now so that being said I will be back on Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday. I'm going to film all on the same day though, don't worry. People was messaging me saying, Sal, do not burn yourself out doing three videos a week. Just do what you can. Don't worry, I'm filming them. I'll film them all on the same day. I'll just not put them out all on the same day. Um, it's not about the money for me. I know for a lot of people it is. I don't mean that nasty. It's just facts. You can tell by how many videos they push out for who... You know, if you're pushing out five, six videos a week, you probably likely need the money. Um, it's not for that for me. I just don't want to put too many out too quick because then they don't get, they don't go in people's um, like feed. So 
yeah, I'd rather put one out, leave it a few days, put another one out, leave it a few days, and I feel like that'll be the best option. Um, look at this. The pink's gone. I need to sort this hair. It looks yellow at the minute because I've just, just, like I said, I've just. I didn't realise how curly my hair was. Um, I've not even brushed it. I literally quickly did this before I um went onto here because I didn't want to be dripping wet. But Ryan was on his game, so I thought I'd just take five minutes, well, five minutes, half an hour later, um, just to show you all. And I like sitting here. Um, I'm quite happy and content just sitting and talking. And I know a lot of people like it. The amount of messages I get, I'm not just saying this, saying, are you going to do a chatty video? Are you going to do a sit down and, and talk about your sleep? Are you going to tell us um, about your plastic surgery? And I guess to me, my sleep, because it's, I, I have my sleeve anniversary. If you don't know what a sleeve is, it's weight loss operation. I used to be really big. I used to be like nearly 18 stone. Because it's so long ago for me now, over two years, and I have been at my goal since nine months post-op. So I got to my goal. The, I had my sleeve in the, um, on February the 27th, two years ago. So 2022. By the December... I was at my goal of well my, my first goal was 10 stone 10 and the following March so a year ago I had my plastic surgeries in which I had the full mummy makeover I had my tummy um took the full FDL so like the scar down so they took the full lot of fat away not just the bottom um I had my boobs done and 360 lipo and that was a year ago, nearly, nearly a year. And I think because I've had such a big gap between my sleeve, I just, and I have maintained my weight as well. I've, I've done really well. Like I'm still, I teat between, like I weighed myself when I moved in here and I'd lost four pounds. But generally I'm between nine, 10 and 10, two, um, depending on what time of the month it is because Ever since I had my weight loss operation, and my, not my weight loss, ever since I had my plastics, I didn't used to, but I now retain more water when I'm on my period, which is weird because I never used to. Um, When I was big, I mean, I never used to gain weight when I was on my period, and I still did get periods. I still managed to have four, um, five kids, four of which I was overweight. Um, I think Alfie, I, was, I thought I was overweight. I was only 14, I know. Again, people ask me, talk about your teen pregnancy. Like, my son's 18 now, and I, I could do stories about everything, but we're fucking we're going off track here. My point is, is that for my pregnancies, I was um, probably overweight slash obese, and maybe only one obese, but overweight, at least, like, 12 to 15 stone for most of them. Um, and I never struggled to, and I, I don't mean this to come across like, um, boasting. I never struggled to get pregnant. Um, but then when I was on my period, I never gained weight. Whereas now, my period comes, I can gain up to seven pound, and it grows. So, as long as like if I was over ten stone before, after my period, I'd be, I'd be like thinking, why, why am I, you know, why is my weight still? But around ten stone, I'm happy. If I see a nine, that's that's good for me. Um, nine times out of ten, I do see a nine, and I'm five foot two, so I need to see a nine really. Um, but yeah, because it's been so long, and because I'm not used to maintaining my weight. I mean, for me, I can't eat a lot of food, but I can like eat junk. So as long as I main maintain where I'm at and don't eat loads of junk, I like, all week. Like some some days, I'll just sit. And yeah, I could probably eat half a sandwich, but I could easily eat, eat four bags of crisps. Honestly, I could not proper crisps, but like crisps, like skips or um, quavers. But I probably couldn't even eat a full bag of Walkers anymore. Maybe, but then I have a stomach ache. But yeah, my point is, is that I can do videos about stuff like that, but it might not be relevant anymore because it has been such a long time for me even being at goal but again there's stuff that i want to do um i do like 
plan on saving like I want some revision doing um on my body that I mean nothing that the surgeon's done wrong I wouldn't say you know I'm botched or anything like that I'm not it's just he did say look for me you're still slightly more because at the time I was like 10 stone 10 10 stone 12 I can't remember I was definitely in the 10s and he was like because you're only five foot two your BMI is still higher than we we would normally like it normally they like it dead on and I was like right and he said so we will do the surgery but if you gain weight which I haven't or in a year's time like now he said you might find that you still have some excess skin so when he did the surgery it was absolutely fine I've got pictures like you could not have like he could not have took an ounce more fat off my belly he couldn't have took any more skin off my belly because they took pictures and it was tight and taut but now it's healed there is an extra bit of skin that just drives me a bit potty right at the bottom it's not like a hang or anything like that and it probably wouldn't bug most people but yeah eventually I probably will get it fixed and um like I've had my like boobs done and happy with them but I mean they could always be better right <laughs> um but half the time when you go to Turkey it's not that much more expensive to get the extras so like you'll pay I don't know I paid just over five thousand pound for the full lot but then you're paying three and a half grand for your tummy, so you might as well just get it all. Like, and people are like, oh, you're going to Turkey, that's so dangerous. Turkey, compared to the UK, you cannot even compare the two. Honestly, I don't mean this disrespectful to the NHS. Our hospitals compared to Turkey is absolutely filthy. The way that the staff treating the NHS isn't always the best, even in private, even in private care. Um, Turkey, you treat like royalty. The, I mean, bear in mind, I researched, 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 like, the, the care of the nurses and stuff like that. The clinics, well, I say clinics, I was in hospitals both times, but the years clinics, they're absolutely spotless. I mean, the only thing I would say is, like, the, you do get pain medication, but the only thing that, that's hard is sometimes... You do get um, a translator at all times um, through the phone, but there's only a UK translator there until like six o'clock. So if you're struggling to explain to them on a night that you're in pain, sometimes they don't understand. So there was another woman that came and she actually brought me some stronger pain relief because I didn't know that we could take our own. And yeah, I think if I was to, I'd, I'd, do, I'd definitely use the same um, doctor again, but if I was to, go again I would definitely take my own like pain relief I mean I'm one of these people that I had c-sections and I didn't take any pain relief because I don't like to swallow tablets and make me feel sick so there was coming and doing like IV paracetamol and something else a bit like English codeine like you know like a mix um but sometimes you just need you know if it had been just a bit too long you just like you was buzzing them and because they're that busy, they'll come in and they'll be like, you know, what's wrong? Kind of like, they use some English and you'll tell them pain and they'll be like, we come back. And then it, it, sometimes you're just waiting a bit too long. But they, like, they, they just take care of you so well. They'll rub your back for you. They'll give you little hand massages. Like, they're just so caring. And they don't do it for like tips and stuff because I tipped some of them are not others and they still was the same like day in day out you know coming in rubbing your hand helping you where in the uk like, i remember having my, my all my surgeries in the uk um yeah it's nhs and yeah they're a lot busier and i get it you're not paying for it but i was left in again i'm gonna i'm going on a rant here after i think it was abigail i was left on my own in a room right um ryan my ex had gone home and I was buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. I was in, I don't know if I can say the word, B-L-O-O-D, sheets. Um, obviously, if, if you've not had a baby, you, you won't get it. But if you had, you get it. And I was buzzing and they wasn't coming anywhere. They left me about four hours. I could not move. I was still numb because it te te always takes me a longer time to unnumb than a normal person. In fact, most of the time, with my other three, I was actually in 
they recover a lot longer than most because I just take a lot longer. My body just doesn't seem to let go of the um, anaesthetic. Anyway, my point is, is that even in the UK, the care is not great. People like compare techie to, you know, like I, I get it. I, I do get it because... I was I felt the same before my sleep. I was like, Am I doing the right thing here? Like going all the way to Turkey for a, a weight loss operation. Like it's crazy. And it is crazy. But once you're there, you meet friends because you there's, there's always a group and you help each other. I mean with my surgery there was a group of girls there, they'd only had their boobs done. They was bringing me stuff in the hotel. Bear in mind this hotel was posh and we had our own nurses and everything in this hotel. You're in a big king size bed and big 55 inch TV and you know it's posh um, but with my sleep I stayed in the hospital with my plastic stayed in the hospital for two nights and then went to the hotel for four nights it was there for a week in total but you have nurses that come to your room and you can also like this is whatsapp groups and you'd literally message them and in the actual hotels they come really quick it was the actual hospitals where there was not understanding or taking longer but yeah in nhs i've not ever had a surgery where i've felt, felt like i have been taken care of really well and i don't want to come across ungrateful because again i'll always say we are really lucky to have free healthcare in the, the uk but this is because people compare surgeries abroad to our and to me they're not comparable they're really not i mean I've never been to Prague, I've never been to Lithuania, but I know even them countries are the same, like you go there and the care is really good. Um, fair enough, there is clinics. I'd never get my teeth done in Turkey, that is like the Turkey teeth joke, that's just something I'd never get done. Um, but I would 1 million percent go back time and time again for plastics. Um, I'd just say always do your research, always check your surgeon, ask for references put him into um what's it called not trip advisor you know what i mean like the if you put into google the, the surgeon's name they will come up and you can see um good reviews bad reviews and don't get me wrong every surgeon that i've ever had has always had good and bad reviews but for me i it's the quantity i mean you can have a surgeon here and people are like, oh, they're all like foreign doctors. My, all my kids have had surgeries. Abigail's had grommets. Rosie's had, um, um, Abigail had her tonsils out. Rosie got put to sleep because her eyebrow was slashed. She uh, she fell and hurt herself. Um, I've had cesareans, four, four cesareans. Every operation, I mean, I had my wisdom teeth out. Every operation I've had has never, and I'm not just saying this being an English doctor, because our doctors are not stupid and they go to Australia, they go to America, because they know that's where the money is. You've got a TNA, nine times out of ten, your doctor is not going to be English. I think it's, I'm not, I won't, I won't say it's a race thing, it isn't. People aren't being racist, they just think that. The doctors in Turkey are no good when half the time they're exactly the same qualifications as a plastic surgeon here. It's just our surgeries cost for the surgery I had in the UK for Spire, for example, Spire in Hull, over twenty thousand pounds. I actually looked into it because the thought of going all the way to Turkey on my own, and I did. I went. Um, absolutely terrified me. But yeah. I've gone on 20 minutes about surgeries when it was meant to be a cashed up in video. But I will put a thing on the screen, cashed up in bit over. So if people are still here, um, yeah. I absolutely love Turkish people. I love going to Turkey. They're so friendly. Like, I I could not fall. Apart from, like I say, the medication when you're waiting because they're not. Maybe, I don't know. Like when I had my sleep, it wasn't like that. It was like on the clock, you know, there was in every four hours. Sometimes it would annoy you because you'd be asleep and I'd come in and do, hook you up to this drip. But they're so gentle, like, again, compared to the, like if I go to the nurse here and have, I don't know, a blood test, like they don't seem to, I'm not saying they're rough, but they're not as like, not as gentle. 
like a, a Turkish nurse will do your blood blood for you. You will not feel it. You're like, are you done? They're so gentle. They really are caring. Um, but yeah, my point is, is that I would go back to Turkey for more, but I feel like I would take someone with me. Um, probably Abigail because by the time I want to go, she'll be eighteen and old enough to deal with that kind of um, not stress, just helping me properly if I needed her. Plus, if we went, say like I went and had my tummy done. You can go to like, they've got like the, um, I think they call it bazaars, 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 something like that. And it's like really nice like shopping centres. Um, you could go shopping and stuff. So yeah, never be afraid to go abroad is my point. Do your research, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'm going to go because I think mine's waiting for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all on Tuesday. Bye.